<laughs> we were saying praise, praise. Much appreciated. Yeah, no, a lot of people just hate playing mirrors in general. So MJ Cross is looking real strong right now, feeling comfortable in that mirror. MJ Karasi is playing out of their mind today. I'm the. This is an incredible performance from them. No doubt. By the way, just to shout it out, like, uh, volume? Let's see, what was their path through here? Because they, they got dropped down to losers a couple rounds ago and fought up through Pixlay to Mask, through Yo Yo Master to get here. Oh my god, this Leo pressure here. <laughs> the, the four times cross up or whatever. I don't, it, Leo players should not feel themselves for that. They're like, oh, you didn't react to one of my many options I can do that are all barely reactable. I just styled on you. I wouldn't even say barely reactable. I don't think you're reacting to anything in back turn. Nothing? I, don't, I mean, the overhead's hard. It's, I mean, you're yeah, you can react to the overhead, but. You're, you're not gonna be reacting to the overhead. You definitely can. It's a lot, man. Speaking it's... of a lot, look at that Leo corner pressure now. That all right, slash spending the meter just to keep the pressure going. Aaron really not wanting to give their opponent a chance at all. Smart play. Aaron, Aaron's sick of the happy chaos already. <laughs> Wants to move on to the next Happy Chaos player. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, people say you lose Guilty Gear Stride by giving players chances, so it's uh, it's hard to blame people for wanting to never give the upper hand up, never pass away tempo, uh, never I mean, interact, frankly. That's what happens in this game, is you can win the game off one interaction. Yeah, for sure. If you have the meter to spend, you really get things going. Like, if, if you get, like, a good counter hit, the game's over at that point. It's... I believe in the power of the comeback, but you know, the, the meter spend is real, meter tax is real. If your opponent just does not have the meter to wire, so you really interact with any system mechanics, you can roll whatever you want if you got a 100 bar. I mean, they're definitely, like, you can definitely not, it's not always, but there are definitely times where the game's over in one hit. There's nothing you could have done about it. I do wonder if Volume was baiting that uh, flash kick there, but just did not hold block long enough. Ooh, this is brutal here. Aaron is just... Correct at every point. Oh, nice tooth K there from volume. A lot of meter on volume side too to make this hurt. See, the day is next. Not going to send through the wall, but. Yeah, really long concentration here. It goes for a regular concentrate. Concentrate. Unfortunate drop there. Tries to use PRC to pick it up, but this is dead. Oh man, unfortunate call out there. Or good call out there, but unfortunate for volume. Ooh, you have the barely scaled super plus the wall damage that'll put a dent in your health bar. On a super that already does a billion damage anyway. Yeah, it's a, it's a crisp little amount of damage there. Aaron really sending it with these flash kicks. No one, uh, you know, has successfully uh, hit him with the big counter hit uh, for a while now, I believe. Yeah, Aaron just knows when to flash kick. Risk taking is a scale. Been saying it all night. You know, if you're right every time, uh, it's no longer a risk. <laughs> I come pressure there. Oh, just a little impatience from volume, probably pressing. I have trying to grab the air on through. But I guess that shows what I know. <laughs> See if volume can make any changes here. I think they're definitely able to uh, make the best of the situation when they can chill out and with punish air and you know maybe wait for a 2d or something like that but once the back turn pressure starts they just they seem a little squirrely on defense maybe not warmed up or maybe just not uh ready to react to some of that back turn pressure i mean we were just talking about it, so it is all so hard to react to definitely not wanting to be blocking and doing everything they can but block which is not the worst call in this game but sometimes you do just have to hold it yeah, and you know, when you have a really strong offense like Happy Chaos... But this is what happens when you hold it. Yeah. You just get thrown. And Aaron, with the perfect, just really playing insane here. Yeah. We've seen this before, you know, volume pretty late in the bracket here, but maybe just uh, not too much practice in the Leo matchup, or like I said, just really not uh, interested in playing a reaction-based play style, just getting opened up by everything. I mean, Volume's not really doing anything too wrong. Aaron is just being at every opportunity, making like her perfect decision to win. Well, let's see what they do after the hard knockdown here. Gonna be a little bit of hard decision making. No safe jump. 
Yeah, a little risky with how Aaron's been going for the uh, flash kicks, but that combo is not that old. Like that pump, Cappy Chaos players have not. It's it's not that recent, but it's pretty recent. Happy Chaos players are doing that combo. Oh, meter. Nice IC there. And the 2D is this dead? No, no, not quite. And the Ooh, throw on the back turn. It is kind of hard to time your meaties there. I do know. Yeah, I mean, I always say it, like, regarding Happy Chaos combos, that community does feel like such a community. I swear they're all in, like, the Discord sharing the, the hottest new stuff and all practicing really hard. Oh, yeah, they all... And, and then even when they're not sharing it, Happy Chaos players will see a clip. They'll, like, watch a tournament, they'll see someone do a combo, and they'll all go watch that clip and learn that combo. Unfortunate drop there with the 2S not connecting. Aaron might get free from the corner here. Has a lot of meter to make it happen. Oh, he's the super. Close it out. Really, really strong performance there from Aaron.